Hey everybody, it's Ty Change Camp from Three Stones Picture. We're here with a preview of all the World of Outlaw Racing for this weekend. Uh, both the sprint cars and the late models are in action this weekend, uh, with the sprint cars making another trip and their final trip of the year to the state of Wisconsin, racing at Beaver Dam on Wednesday, and then Wilmot on Friday and Saturday. And then the late models race Thursday at a makeup day for Bedford Speedway, and then head to Sharon Speedway for two days of racing on Friday and Saturday. Uh, starting with the sprint cars, their race at Beaver Dam is a makeup from June 1st and will be for a cool 20 grand win. Uh, last year, Sheldon Haunt and Shield won for the fourth time here in five races, uh, but looks to go six for seven here as he won uh, night one here at Beaver Dam earlier this year. So he will be a heavy favorite going into this one. Uh, Dave Gravel will, will be another one to keep an eye out for as he led a good part of the early stage of the race uh, here before Haunt and Shield ended up going by him. Uh, moving on to Wilmot, Carson Macedo was your winner here uh, with the one day show from last year uh, as Macedo got past shots halfway through the race to take the win. Uh, Macedo has some good history here, but so does David Grabble. It has four wins here uh, with the Outlaws. Bill Baylog is also going to be another guy that's looking to have a strong run as he looks to finish the Wisconsin part of the Outlaw schedule strong, who has 23 career wins here, most of them with the IRA sprint cars. Uh, looking at the point standings, Gravel continues to lead the standings with shots, Macedo and Gio Selzy uh, trailing close behind. So each race means a lot to the championship battle, so one or two bad races can really flip the standings as we continue on throughout the year. Moving on to the late models. Uh, they start on Thursday with a makeup date at Bedford Speedway for the Bill Wynn Classic. Uh, this is the first time the Outlaws late models have raced here at Bedford since 2009, so there's really not a lot of information to go off of. Uh, this will be a new deal for everybody. Uh, Hoffman may be the only one with some knowledge of this place as he's got a 2021 uh, feature win here in the UMP Modifieds. Uh, otherwise, they go to Sharon Speedway for a midsummer doubleheader. Uh, Chris Mann and Ryan Gustin split wins here last year. Uh, obviously, Madden will not be here as he continues on with his uh, health issues. Uh, but Ryan Gustin does have a good record here as he's won a, a race here with the all us each year since 2021 on the 3-8 mile. He's also coming off a very good weekend at Deer Creek, so, he, Deer Creek, so he's got a, very, a lot of momentum going his way. Uh, looking at their point standing, Shepard barely holds on to a point lead off over Nick Hoffman, but Bobby Pierce continues to work his, uh, work his way, pulls it up that gap uh, on the two of them as the season continues rolls on there. Uh, all of these races can be seen on Dirt Vision throughout the entire weekend. We'll recap the events of these races along with racing from around the country on next week's episode of Tuesday Track Talk, so we'll see you then.